because that's how I want to live. You know? So today I felt, you know, I'm going to get the camera out. And I'm going to go record myself because I feel like it. So I'm recording myself. <laughs> yesterday I did not record myself. Well, granted, yesterday I was actually editing stuff anyway. <laughs> you know, what you gotta do is find out what you really love to do. You gotta make it so that's what you really are doing. And the short term, that can be hard. Because, like, when I was in high school stuff, you know, it's like, hey, you know, we, we this, you gotta do this paper. <laughs> you know, you can't wait. You can't just flunk out of school. I'm like, uh, you know, I guess not. But I'll tell you something, I picked a college specifically to replace for what that would be, all, you know, respected, although, yeah, although it's respected, it's definitely not super elite and the thing that's going to stress me all over. You know, I visited my college and I thought, okay, this is a place where I can relax. I can, I can be, I can be more free, right? You see, I did it. So, so even though in high school it was, it was tough, well, first of all, I tried, you know, writing and stuff, doing my creative things, and, and you know, succeeding in a number of them. Um, as much as I could, within the stress, you know, or going around it, whatever. And that, that did help to fight stress. I hate to think, I really hate to think what I would have been without my idea notebooks. I mean, I would have been messed up. <laughs> I don't know what kind of stress disorder I would have had. Anyway. Um, but... What was I just saying? But so, so first of all, I was doing the creativity within that stressful situation as much as I could, and looking for opportunities to change the situation. Looking to choose a college. That was one thing I did. You know, just specifically, okay, a place where I can relax, to make their life better. And when I look for a job, actually, I mean, in the short term, I may need little jobs here and there. And it's a little hard to find a little job here and there that will allow you to like do what you like. <laughs> Just to do whatever you like. That's why I like all this donation internet thing. I have no idea how long it would take to set up. I do know Terry Naomi only took six months to get herself a record deal. So hey, I'm not actually looking for a record deal, but maybe I, I could work this out. I don't know. Uh, but I look for a job. I'm going to be very careful and make sure it's not a stressful job. You know, one of the things I'm going to do is make video games. Uh, and in the games industry right now, there's a lot of stress. <clears throat> a lot of stress. Because it's an immature industry. So every project goes over budget and behind schedule, and everyone has to work some crazy 70 hour weeks near the end, which I don't want to do. Definitely afraid of that. That would hurt. Because even though it would be gaming, that'd be cool. I know it could be stressful. Gotta do it right. So someday. Yeah, I want to set up, set up my own, like, studio or something for, for creative things. Alright, I, I name it after my, my internet nickname, Sonic Sons. Alright, we call it Studio Sonic Sons. Much like Studio Ghibli. <laughs> or Ghibli, or Ghibli, or whatever you like to call it. <laughs> uh, and you place it as much as possible without stress. You'd make your own hours, you come in when you're ready, you leave when you're not ready, you know, when you're when you feel like leaving. Uh, there'd be like, you know, a cot there. <laughs> if you feel like, ah, oh, I'll take a nap. Maybe you'll take a nap. <laughs> we have cots. <laughs> and, and, and there'd be a cat as well. Yes. There'd be a cat. Because cats are not stressed, are they? They don't cause a lot of stress either. I mean, they might. But a dog constantly needs to let out while a cat's more independent. We'd have a cat in Studio Sonic Sun's headquarters. And the cat would walk around. However it felt like, eh, over here, over here, climb up on whatever. Just remind people not to stress. And we devote uh, at least 10% of our, our capacity for working on brainstorming, right? So we remember, be like, we're, you know, we're making this movie now, we put all our effort into that. But even in the midst of that, you know, of making the movie, we still have a 10% at least devoted to just brainstorming. You come up with whatever idea you can, and put on whatever thing you want, you know, because you, you might add it on to some other idea, or you might invent an entirely new story. And, and, and those things will grow on their own time. See, that is my method. That's the way I work. And so, by the time you take a movie, or a game, or a book as it might be, I mean, I don't know if you need a whole studio to write a book. Anyway, let's say movie. So I'm going to take this movie to production. We'd have 
the whole story set out, the whole script set out, the whole storyboards set out, all the characters are, 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 are set, all the, you know, plot lines have been figured out, um, we've done all sorts of technical tests, test animation, testing what voices we need, and actors, uh, as the case may be, I think we'll be doing a lot of uh, photorealistic motion capture 3D animation myself, uh, because you you can you can be, you can throw shadows around you can you know do what you like more so than you can on set the set would be more stressful therefore um, but you know so everything would make sense I wouldn't just be like you know okay the script is ready let me go like the script has been growing at its own pace and so it completely makes sense by the time we're ready and, and all the technical things actor things anything you might possibly work on in advance has at its own pace been worked on in advance. Maybe you'll have something like, oh, I don't know who the actor should be for this. I really don't know anybody. And then that, that, that one idea will just sit there for like two years. <laughs> and then the actor comes along like, oh, now we have that actor. And then we go. <laughs> I think that will create a, a way of doing high quality projects very rapidly because it'll just have all the stuff that's just ready to go. And then we just shoot it out, you know. Thanks to the brain spin. So that's how I wanted it. Free and true and in the service of God, of course. Notice I haven't mentioned God too much explicit. Partly because of the ceremony thing. You know, I don't want to say constantly referencing God doesn't necessarily mean you love him more, or just you may be constantly referencing God. A lot of my movies, I think, uh, would be about, about God and faith in a sense. Uh, about my worldview, everything I do is going to be, you know, some lesson to be learned about the world. Uh, but not like a direct moral lesson, you know, things can be ambiguous, but lessons in there. Um, and it thus would all involve God in some way, even without saying it necessarily. Because it's not about the word, God. It's about his presence. See what I mean? I, I, I want to convince you... Uh, to, to faith, not, not by showing you the conclusion, but by showing you the evidence. I should show you how the world works, and, and that resonates. You're right, and I'm like, oh, that does make sense. And then you go from that and find out that faith and God and all that makes a tremendous amount of sense. Right? Even, even if you're an atheist and you refuse to believe in God, you could at least say, well, these morals... I'm espousing make a lot of sense. People should live this way. We'd be happier, you know. Um, but not necessarily with with God in there explicitly. Even though I love God, and even though I'm certainly willing to talk about God to anyone uh, willing to ask, you know, anyone who anyone wants to hear. I talk to God a lot. You know, that's the way I do it. Introspective stuff. And with that time, hey, God, what's up with you? <laughs> These little phrases like, my lord. Yes, my lord. Of course, my lord. <laughs> uh, not that I get direct verbal communication. I'm no prophet. But, you know, you get sense. You're like, yeah, I, probably God doesn't want me to be afraid, you know, of this, for instance. Because, as I said, just before I started filming, I was like, eh, eh. For no good reason. I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't feel fear for no good reason. Turn the camera on. <laughs> Go with it. The way to defeat fear is with courage. There's another one of those really obvious things to live by that we've known through thousands of years. Just try and be courageous. Face the fear as much as you can. You'll start whittling it away until it's gone. <laughs>